Hello, hello. All glories to Amrita and Danvantari, the supreme divine healers. Let's look at the first meal. We have only two meals to simplify and we pack all the nutrients in two meals. It's a pretty amazing feeling when you get such a blast of nutrients in one meal. So, we have here a uh, quick info to the breakfast it's around 8 8 o'clock maybe 8 30 depending how we manage to do that and I don't know if you can read it I take some bail bail muraba it's a special preparation from bail food um, which is very good for digestion and many other things you can look it up then coconut juice, not much, just a little bit. I'm making um, a special sauce for the meal, which I soak overnight. There is the Bilva Dilea, which is one of these uh, Ayurvedic Rasayanas I talked about. Then there will be a little bit of Shilajit. Shilajit, maybe we will discuss that. It's um, um, a compound that is collected in the mountains, in the Himalayas, in the Altai Mountains and others. It uh, is a concentrated form of um, humic substances with all 84 trace minerals and in an ionized form plus so many other substances. And. Um, yeah, I can recommend you look it up because that is so important, the Shilajit, uh, nowadays uh, because of the deficiencies, maybe I will make a different video or I will put the link in the description of the video so you get all that you need to know. And then we have coconut water, approximately maybe 50 milliliters. At the end of the meal I take some neem and well, there's the option if I don't make that meal, I may have mixed juice, but I don't do that in this discussion. So, we have the jaggery powder, which I add into that mix for the minerals and some extra calories. Then um, the lemon juice, it may be or maybe not there. Mm, I think I may not even use it now. Then shilajit powder, actually I don't have powder, I have a, I have a liquid shilajit, which is a very thick liquid. Um, then pomegranate juice, but this is the juice options, which I don't have here, they are all at zero grams. And melon I don't have here. Usually I have pomegranate and banana, sometimes maybe a little bit of apple mixed in. So here we have 460 grams of pomegranate and about one kilo of bananas, um, all cut together in small pieces. Then a little bit of turmeric powder, ginger powder or fresh, both of them also fresh, very excellent for immunity for the blood and so many things. You should know about it by now. Some soaked dry fruits in this section. Then the chavan prash, which I mentioned before, is Ayurvedic Rasayana. Then um, two spoons, uh, or like one tablespoon about, of wheatgrass powder. Maybe I will add a little bit of spirulina, not so much, maybe half a spoon. And you see even a little bit of olive oil for absorbing all the nutrients, the vitamins, etc. And some carob powder, maybe if I get then I will add also some raw cacao for all the benefits of the cacao. And um, which is not mentioned here, it's somewhere down in the list, is um, amaranth leaf and also maybe sometimes coriander leaf I like to add to the breakfast. So to have some fresh herbs um, finely chopped just before eating um, or before offering it to the Lord um, and excellent nowadays we are um, collecting fresh Tulsi which is also an amazing healing plant so it gives such amazing uh, benefits you can look up Tulsi for yourself please so that will be the breakfast around 8 o'clock and then 
we give it all the time of the day to digest um, that gives us enough energy for the whole day basically and here this meal we try to have it actually by 16 29 and that works out so this meal is about uh, salad proteins and fatty acids actually amino acids and um, fatty acids as I said before and also after the meal in the morning I have some kalonji or black seed which is also amazing with so many wonderful nutrition in there and then so soak the sprouts will be maybe around 126 grams it is um, maybe a tablespoon of um, seeds and we are changing them every day sometimes fenugreek sometimes alfalfa sometimes mung dal sometimes lentils whatever is you know so you get some different uh, nutrition on the different days and for the salad sauce I add some root powder as I mentioned before ashwagandha datu paushiti kshatavari also bala I forgot to mention before a wonderful herbal compound ginger turmeric and some other spices so we can have a look here maybe some cucumber maybe some tomato yellow, uh, yellow peppers coriander leaf monk sprouts 144 gram um, dried spirulina and fenugreek leaves also amazing tasty and very very healthy and actually for thickening the sauce we use basil seeds I don't know if I have them here in the mm, in the calculation because I think I didn't find them on the on the app they are very similar in their um, composition like um, chia seeds but they soak much more quick and are more easily digestible um, you can also blend them in a, in a blender just before eating yeah barley grass juice powder a big amount here 20 grams or alternatively wheatgrass powder um, this is at zero as an option then green leaf lettuce spinach again a pomegranate this time a little bit less maybe and um, grapefruit juice alternatively we have mosami juice which is a type of Indian orange some lemon juice um, this is just for comparison the gold standard way I don't take it then a little bit of chia seed I put them instead of the basil seed flax seed oil for the omega-3 uh, walnuts also have a uh, good ratio of omega-3 and omega-6 here I have four halves of uh, walnuts um, not more than that because then we would have too many polyunsaturated fats overall we will discuss the uh, we can discuss the fat ratio just now so we have walnuts coconut oil and olive oil usually um, so we get a balanced ratio but today we have no olive oil because of the avocado so let's have a quick look at the fatty profile what is the fats okay so you see we have 55% of our fat 20 grams from the avocado then from the pomegranate seeds interestingly enough 7 grams 5 grams from the walnuts and um, olive oil yeah we had some olive oil in the breakfast and coconut oil and from the bananas look 3, three grams of fat from the bananas one from the flax seed spirulina and chia and like that and then we can look here more into the detail um, monounsaturated fat is a little bit high here it is if you look at the overall it's almost it's over um, over 30 percent it should be a little bit less maybe 20 25 is good actually it can be up to 35 35 percent and it's a little bit more here today um, doesn't have to be super exact every day poly answer it is um, 9.5 gram 
so we have 2.2 gram of omega-3 so that we have enough for the conversion import for the conversion of EPA into DHA and ALA is that we don't have too much omega-6 otherwise the conversion of omega-3 will be very low so there is a ratio of about uh, 1 to 3.5 which is an excellent ratio we have um, 9.8 gram of saturated fat um, could be a little bit more here but that's just for today and yeah that's the overall view of the lipids then what we have where did we stop sometimes okay so avocado sometimes pumpkin seeds sometimes cashews everyday changing Monday cashew Sunday sunflower seeds always sprouting the sunflower seeds pine nuts for Saturday Brazil nuts also for Saturday in a small amount but they have some good substances in there as well hazelnut for Tuesdays and green olives usually for Wednesdays then we have um, tahini on Friday macadamia nuts also for Monday and uh, here's the sprouts and clarified butter clarified butter for comparison because it has a very good fat ratio pistachios one time a week a few of them almonds maybe an option for Monday as well then buckwheat sprout is an option to change lupin is one of the best amino acids if you can get lupin seeds and sprout them that's most excellent green lentils also a very good option and dolls dolls flake al uh, seaweed amazing source of iodine very important to have regularly um, if possible every day have some seaweed we have here a mix of wakame and dulce flakes each nine gram and soak them and add some little bit of lemon juice and some spices and um, that you can have with your walnuts it's amazing mix and also I put my flax oil here in the dulce and uh, seaweed mix sometimes raw nori sometimes yeah, I could put here something we just started again to take some Himalayan salt we went uh, three months without any salt now we are seeing how it works out with the salt I don't know how much per day let's say maybe nine grams per day and psyllium seed is an option alfalfa sprouts also amazing then here we have uh, alf organic alfalfa leaf powder also we have um, a special green powder for the salad sauce with moringa brahmi which is another excellent uh, herb for the brain and uh, the body what else is there there was pomegranate seed powder in there which is not there anymore and moringa and wheatgrass and of course again spirulita for the salad sauce and yeah and coral eco pure um, we have some red coral powder for some extra calcium but we will look for some sango coral powder uh, in the near future so we have some extra minerals yes so we want we had a look at um, carbs we had a look at the proteins have a look let's have a look again at the 